What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. Uh, for today's video, I'm going to be doing a full walk around of my truck. Um, I had a couple people request that I do a walk around of the truck and also what speakers that I get. So I'm going to be showing you guys. One thing I ask is don't judge. The inside of my truck's a little bit dirty. As you guys saw in the start of this video is that it is 97 degrees outside. So I'm probably going to start sweating instantly. It's hot. Whew. Anyways. Excuse my oil spill. I changed the wife's oil on the Jeep. <laughs> so I gotta clean that up. But without further ado, guys, let's get right into this. This is how the truck sits. We are on a kind of a slope, but you can tell the front is a little bit higher than the rear. You can see the difference in the wheel gap. I also wanted to show you guys my truck has the release for the tailgate. But it will not retract automatically. I actually do have to lift it up on my own. Not a big deal, it's pretty light. And then that's your backup camera. That's a light actually, it's like a spotlight. So if you're trying to hook a trailer at night, you can hit a switch inside, turn that on, and it really lights up what's behind you. And then you also have a one touch release right here. So long as you have the key with you, there you go. Inside the bed is pretty simple. I do like that Chevy has an emblem right there. Looks pretty good in the brake light. You actually have dual LEDs and then carrying on inside of the bed, there's also LEDs in the back of the bed, just not in the front. But it does have LEDs in the rear to help light up the whole bed for you. It's actually really bright. Another thing I really like that Chevy did with a few of the, the models, I don't think it's just this one, I think even the last model had it, but the steps in the bumper, really, really cool. Uh, the RST with the packaging that I have has the dual exhaust. I think the dual exhaust looks great. Um, something I'm not sure if it comes on all models, but I know my specific truck has the spoiler on it I don't know if that's a thing with all of them, but I think it really looks good The wheels and tires look really good. They also stick out a little bit, but just enough I think the way it's set up is almost perfect You do have a one-touch unlock and lock from the passenger door as well if i have to come on this side for some reason and i have the key with me i can hit the button from there and unlock the truck these mirrors guys are freaking awesome they're big enough to tow with trust me plenty of visibility out of these mirrors and you do have blind spot monitoring all right you also have spotlights in the mirrors so if you pull up to a campsite or wherever and it's dark you can turn on these lights from inside and they actually do help quite a bit something else guys that i think is pretty cool this is the only badge on the truck that lets you know this truck is a diesel there's nothing else on it so a lot of people don't even suspect it i've had a few people actually ask me if i put that badge on myself <laughs> thought that was funny it is the z71 rst package have to have 4x4 for our lifestyle. One of my favorite angles of this truck are gonna be from the front like this. I think it looks really, really aggressive. It looks really good with these wheels and tires. That's why I said it's kind of worth the fuel economy loss. It does have fog lights. They're also LED. I like the blacked out Chevy emblem on my specific truck. I think it looks nice. We'll show you guys under the hood after we do the interior. We'll start off in the rear. Guys, my truck is dirty. Went on a fishing trip not too long ago. All right, you can't see the door speakers that I installed, the JL audio, but I will tell you guys this. For the person who asked what speakers did I go with, I went with JL W3 Shallows for the subwoofers, and then I went with JL C2 speakers for all the doors. Another cool thing with this truck is you actually do have dual USB ports in the rear and a 12 volt. You do have obviously AC vents for the rear passengers. I think that's a must. The truck does have LEDs in the rear and in the front. I don't know if you can see them in the front. It's pretty bright. But another cool thing to make this truck feel like it has a lot more headroom is Chevy actually put indents in the headliner up here. So it makes it feel like there's so much space. And guys, I'm 6'2", right? I could sit back here comfortably. That's how I sit in the front. That's how my wife sits on the other side. I mean, just look at the leg room. 
All right, let's go to the front. One of my most used controls in this truck is gonna be that tow haul mode. You just turn it to the left, it'll go into tow haul mode. If you wanna go through your modes, I think there's sport, there's off-road and there's like snow or something. You turn to the right to cycle through your modes. You also have auto. You have four high, four low, and two high. I mostly use two high or four high. We went with the bench seat, as you guys know. I'm not uh, crazy over leather and I don't really care about captain chairs. For me, I'd rather have the extra seat if I ever need it. I think that's beneficial. Once again, all weather floor mats. Guys, these are awesome. They pop up so easy, just like that. All right, let's check under the hood. One of my favorite parts of the truck has to be under the hood. There it is. That's the intake right there. The reason I bring that up because I've been talking with the retail store. There's a company coming out with a new Calder intake for this truck, and I will be getting it the second it's available in California. Another cool thing, your turbo's right there, so is your wastegate. If you ever have any problems, super easy to work on. Here's an access port for the battery. This would be your positive terminal. I don't know if you guys can see that right there. That would be your negative terminal. Something else that's really cool, that's your intercooler. It's a water-cooled intercooler. It's on top of the engine, which is not a good thing in my opinion, but it is water-cooled, so that's pretty cool. All right, guys, so I just came back inside from doing the walk around. It is 97 degrees outside. That is ridiculous for a big man like myself. First thing I did was come in here, grab a paper towel and wipe my face. <laughs> I started sweating out there immediately. All right, so that's gonna do it for this video. I just wanted to do a quick walk around, show you guys the truck, just cause a few of you have asked. I do have some exciting things coming to the channel. I'm just waiting on one more thing from Banks and then I'm gonna be doing an install video and not an install video, but just kinda of like, hey, this is what I got, pretty cool. Pretty excited to bring you guys along for that, show it to you guys, just cause it excites me and I wanna share it with you. So, all right, you guys, that's gonna do it for this one. If there's anything else, you guys would like to see don't be shy comment down below ask away and i'll do the best that i can to post it for you as soon as possible i'm on top of these videos right now i'm recording them almost daily so like i said comment down below any questions you have and we'll get to it all right y'all that's it for this one peace sneak peek of what's to come just waiting on one more part